what's up guys we are back here with another auto auction update man we got a bunch of cars on the list we bought the buick yesterday picked it up and took it home man what you guys think about the buick let me know in the comments below i'll wait for you right now while i check out some of these whips all right now that you did that please like comment and subscribe to the channel we got a bunch of cars on the list here today so let's get right into it now shall we all righty guys first up man we got a 05 mercedes c320 here 100 000 miles on the dash uh first glance looks like we do got some uh body panels not lining up unfortunately uh, you got like aftermarket black housing headlights which is pretty cool gives it that look um if we pop open the door right here we do have some nice leather black interior pretty decent to say the least really good looking uh mercedes not um like the other ones we see because most of the ones that we see here are pretty whooped just hit a hundred thousand miles on this one so um i think this one would be pretty good to work with what y'all think about it body wise you do got a little bit of fading here on the side nothing that can't be taken care of with a little bit of mako paint job man what y'all think about it let me know in the comments below next up man we got a 2012 malibu 135,000 miles on the dash um we got some rims on there we're missing a center cap on that one so i doubt you're going to be able to find that but you can pop the hood on this bad boy real quick 135,000 miles does look pretty fair under there um you're missing a uh cap on the front one as well couple scratches along the side but if we pop this thing open you do got like some little armrest hanging it is the lt because it does have the suede in the middle so this is the top of the line um chevy malibu of this year one hundred and thirty-five thousand miles i think the mileage is pretty fair give this thing a good wipe up nice little detail you do got some tequila kickage here in the back nothing too crazy though I still think you can get uh, this thing for pretty cheap here today, judging nobody got their taxes yet, so. Alrighty guys, next up, man, we got a 2012 Hyundai Elantra, 75,000 miles here. And this one is actually here last week, guys, but I'll just give you guys a quick run through because we can actually get this joint. It does look really, really clean in here, man. Looks really, really fair. Smells like smoke, but that shouldn't be too much of an issue. trying to get this a toro out man this? i was thinking about it got a little tequila kick here nothing too crazy it look cool all righty guys next up man we got a 2008 honda fit 152,000 miles on the dash here uh first glance it does look pretty cool however um they got like they replaced the honda badge with a transformer only if it was a chevy it'll be like you know proper but i mean you do got a little bit of a uh, gapage here on the uh, front bumper nothing crazy if we pop this thing open though um it does seem pretty legit in here guys you do got like some aftermarket pedals there you got like ferrari seats so i'm pretty sure this thing is really really fast man it's got the v12 in it being that it got the ferrari seat covers on it man so this would definitely be something we're interested in here it's a nice honda fit pretty good looking whip and it's from gardena so you know they drove it out here a while a uh, miles away but it does look pretty good we can pop open the hood on this joint real quick Ooh, honda v tech look real clean under that joint man so this will definitely be something we're interested in let me know what you guys think about it though in the comments below next up guys we got a 2005 dodge dakota here 157,000 miles pretty good looking truck man we got some nice newish tires um, no body damage well we got the grill hanging off just a little bit here in the front uh, if we take a look at the inside it is a pretty nice looking truck does smell like a casino in this joint however no back seats really but i mean it's pretty intact 157,000 miles on the dodge man uh, on this year i don't know if you guys know anything about it man let me know in the comments below it's got the v8 magnum pretty good looking truck man i wouldn't mind grabbing this because i definitely need a truck in my stable some type of pickup truck what y'all think about it though let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 96 dodge ram 1500 218 000 miles pretty big of a work truck looks really good 
no body damage or anything like that pretty fair looking whip um we can take a quick peek at the inside um you got some seat covers over the seats back seats look pretty fair this is a pretty good looking uh ram i mean it is a little old don't get me wrong probably uh i probably won't be bidding on something like this old but does look like a really good truck because i know a bunch of you guys are into trucks and i'm looking for a pickup truck so if i can find one for really cheap definitely wouldn't mind grabbing it what you guys think about this one though let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 08 chevy impala here 115,000 miles on the dash does look pretty good oh we got the f-18s way up there you can't even see it but um looks really good low mileage 115,000 to be exact we take a look at the inside you got like some wire splice down there i'm pretty sure that's for the radio but the interior does look good front and back seats look to be intact all you would need is a radio there get this thing back going body wise it is looking good flex fuel this is a pretty decent impala most of the ones here are never this clean so this will be something we can keep on our list what you guys think about it let me know in the comments below and guys i think this one was here last week it's a 2013 dodge avenger 119,000 miles on the dash we do got some tequila kickage here a little bumper hangage it does says the coolant is leaking but 119,000 miles i feel like it can be uh brought back to life the interior is pretty good looking to say the least guys um a few marks on the back seats nothing really crazy at all honestly the interior looks pretty flawless uh the mileage is pretty low uh rady has a coolant leak so the most i'm thinking it's gonna be a radiator swap of some sort. And this thing will be right back in the game. Restore these headlights, get this thing looking brand new. Can actually pop the hood on this bad boy. And uh, I don't know. What you guys think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. We got a 03 Honda Accord, 241,000 miles. Man, unfortunately it does have a salvage title. So this thing is gonna go be going super, super cheap here. We can just pop the hood really quick. VTEC looks pretty fair under there, I guess. Um, trying to find the body damage for you guys. We've got a huge little tequila kick right here. Nothing crazy though. Uh, did that bring the airbags out? Oh yeah, and they took the whole airbags and everything out. So this is definitely not going to be something that we're interested in with this super taped up seat but i'll just give you guys a quick walk around because i'm a good guy but what you guys think about the honda man let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 04 nissan moreno here 176,000 miles on the dash um do got some some bumper hangage over here headlights need to be restored promptly 176,000 miles it does says it has no gas i don't even want to deal with something that has writing on the window this steering wheel itself look like a mechanic on this car this whole uh lifetime and this thing is just a uh, pretty beat honestly so i don't want anything that's beat man i learned my lesson yesterday with the buick you know i've been on a roll holding out for you guys for a while and you guys just got to me so i grabbed the buick but never again we'll get something decent coming up here soon we got a bunch of cars back here that um pretty much don't run i'll just walk you through real quick got a little nissan little i think this is the pathfinder uh a little wrecked a little hyundai i think it's whooped oh snap we got an acura what is this Acura 2002 Acura RS6 159,000 miles it does hold a salvage title unfortunately but I don't really see uh, any body damage on it this remind me of need for speed underground for show sure. look like they might have tried to fix it at a point but a couple more cars back here nothing uh that we bid on they got a uh, CLS back there a little Scion TC tequila kicked in the back. 
CLS 500, not the 550. This one isn't running. Interior and everything in there look whooped though. Oh yeah, they was drag racing the foreign until they crashed. <laughs> they told the police, so what? Anywho, moving along guys. Ooh, we got an Acura TL. Wow, that's what I'm talking about. We got a 06, guys. 2006 Acura TL here, 135,000 miles on the dash. Man, I remember these cars first came out. My mom wanted to get one of these or the uh, Passat. She ended up going with the Passat, but I really rather she got one of these. These things were really nice. And from the back, I love the, the back lights on this. But before we get there, we can just take a quick look at the inside. Seats are super whooped. Like, there's no way. I don't understand how people, cars get just like this dirty guy. This thing is whooped. I'm not sure if something's wrong with it or not. They definitely got it back here in the cut, but this is a pretty good looking car on the outside. You can find some uh, nice interior uh, driver and passenger seats, man. You'd be right back in the game so easy. And this window over here is broken, so you're gonna need a passenger window and two uh, seats. And this one is, does have a tequila kick on the side here. But all in all, it looks pretty fair. 135,000 miles, what y'all think about it, man? Let me know in the comments below. Man, we got a 2003 BMW 325 here. 157,000 miles on the dash. Um, First glance, it does look pretty cool. You got those aftermarket headlights in those. So it's always a plus when you uh, know the previous owner kind of liked their car a little bit. However, it's no radio. Pretty nice, light gray, typical BMW interior. Just got the sunroof, but again no radio seems pretty fair other than that body wise it does look good all around however this side it does look like this got the worst of the uh, sun because the paint is faded on this side but it does look lowered as well so i don't know what do you guys think about the bmw let me know in the comments below next up we got a 2011 chevy equinox here 117,000 miles on the dash, guys. First glance, it does look pretty cool. You got a little little hangage there, nothing crazy. You're definitely gonna need some tires. They tried to dress this one up nice, didn't they? Take a look at the inside. We do have some nice leather interior, which looks to be all intact. Looks really good in here, honestly. Leather seats are both intact. Uh, it looks like you're missing something right here. I don't know if that's like a radio or what but it looks like a big gap right there other than that i guess it looks pretty fair you can pop the hood on this bad boy and see when we go back around but slide tequila kick there nothing crazy though it is the lt model let's pop this hood real quick and see uh See, stuff is just hanging it's not even like in there so i'm kind of cool on this one but i'll let y'all be the judge what y'all think about it let me know in the comments below next up guys we got a 2014 nissan Sentra here 95,000 miles on the dash man does look really good from a first glance no body damage or anything like that we pop the door open on this joint the interior does look really good looks like a brand new car brand new looking car nothing that stands out honestly looks really great so honestly i might even think about grabbing this one if the mileage is pretty low and pretty fair what's the mileage on it Ninety-five thousand miles which i think about the 2014 nissan Sentra. man let me know in the comments below and this is the bmw that they're raffling off for 30 bucks I literally should go get a raffle ticket and try to win this joint. Because if I win, I'd be super, super on. It's only got 125,000 miles on the dash, guys. 30 buckaroos, man. You can't beat that. Looks really good. No lights on the dash, man. A little blemish here. Got the Flowmasters pretty decent whip though man what y'all think about the honda they're gonna raffle this off for 30 bucks today and then we got a couple more cars here 
We got a little charger. A few more cars you guys haven't seen. I'll just give you guys a run through really quick, man. Quick little run through real quick. Got a PT Cruiser Ford Focus Subaru here. Toyota. A couple of Nissans. 144,000 miles on this one. Uh, too many miles on this one. Couple trucks. You guys seen all that back there? A little Dodge, a little Chrysler truck. You guys seen this here last week? GT was here last week. Most of the stuff was here last week. So, alrighty, guys, it's gonna be a wrap for today's video, man. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel got a few cars here today if you're wondering what any of these cars go for be sure to tune in tomorrow morning as that video will be out first thing in the morning hopefully we can get something nice here today um what you th guys think i should bid on let me know in the comments below until then i'll catch you guys on the next one peace